Hi everyone. This is part of our secret section where we go really deep. You see here, this Bandicoot Ultra Fan channel has 185 subscribers. You see the five for the fifth age coming? And then you also see that this particular video here has 1,350 views. See the five for the fifth age? <clears throat> you even see on Helen George's Instagram this Freemason checkerboard symbolism. See it right here on the Freemason Royal Arch, right there? <clears throat> it takes two. This Strictly Come Dancing companion series. Just like you have the rule of two in Star Wars. See the red lightsabers for Satan? <clears throat> it's because... There's two sides. There's Jesus Christ's side, and there's Satan's side. I know the Grox one always says Satan doesn't have a side because he get, he's just on his own, and he's crazy, and he's mad, and, what, and whatnot. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> at the same time, he always says, um, this pillar is Satan's side, and he says this pillar is Jesus Christ's side. So, again, it's one of those things that He's saying two different things about. <clears throat> but anyway, you see the V for the fifth edge right there. <clears throat> and th this two business is to do with Revelation 2 and Revelation 22. So, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, as I said in the last video, Lana Benico and Helen George both represent the woman of the Bible. Mostly because of their blonde hair. And you see that their hairstyles are even similar. If not exactly the same. If they ever make a movie of Star Wars The Old Republic. I want Helen George to play Lana Benico. Because like. They both have posh accents basically. Like they sound. They both sound British. Um. Well basically. <clears throat> you see this castle right here. It represents an Illuminati pyramid. And then you see the 45 right there for the fifth age. And, you, and, and also, like, the, the next president of the United States will be the 45th president. Yeah, the 45th president, the next one will be. And then see the 9 for 9-11. And then if you put these two fours together, you get 44 for Obama being the 44th president. See the 7 for the 7-7 seven, seven bombings. And then, <clears throat> see the yellow gem? Just like Iron Man has yellow and red armor. I'm not sure what that... No, that's just one of my videos. Right. Um, see the year 2004 on this wine bottle for the fourth age that we're in at the moment. And you see the Rothschild collection it's from. Now, the Rothschild family are rich. They're one of the richest families in the world. They're part of the elite. Wine is supposed to be holy, because it was drunk by Jesus Christ himself at the last Passover. Now, the Rothschild and the elite are corrupting this wine by putting their branding on it. It's like they're putting the mark of the beast on it. Wine... So see here, it says a bottle of Rothschild wine in a wooden gift box with the Five Arrows logo stamped. Um, well, obviously this five represents the fifth age. But I mean, like, basically, there's this show with Matthew Reese and Matthew Goods called The Wine Show. It's, it's a very, very good show. I fully recommend you watch it. But uh, they actually had some of this what some of this Rothschild wine shown in the program, and um, like even the W in wine represents two V's next to each other for the fifth age. <clears throat> so Steve Smith represents Satan because he wears red, and you see what he's doing with his hands here is basically like claws, like Satan's claws. <clears throat> see the green for Islam behind him, and then 
Um, basically, he's the guy who is trying to lead you astray. <clears throat> he is trying to get you to renounce your faith. Because he's the science guy. He represents the Smith, or Satan. That's why he's called Steve Smith. It's even got a lot to do with Steve Jobs trying to corrupt you with his Apple company. See the Apple right there? It's got a bite taken out of it. It represents just like taking a bite from the Apple in the Garden of Eden. The Forbidden Apple. It represents giving in to temptation. <clears throat> even Claire... In Resident Evil represents the woman of the Bible. See, she has this bow gun right here. Well, it represents just like this woman right here with a bow and arrow. <clears throat> See, Alexia Ashford represents the woman of wickedness. See, she's got this red jewel here for Satan. Just like this woman's got a red jewel right here as well. For the same reason. She represents the woman of she represents the woman of wickedness as well. But for some reason she seems to have a Christianity cross on her head, which doesn't make much sense, to be honest. Um See this woman right here represents the woman of the Bible as well with her blonde hair. She could as well, because she's wearing blue for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> right. So here it says, supporting 25 years of Macmillan cancer, coffee morning, a raisin mug. See the 25? That represents the fifth age, got it. See Zoe Ball represents the woman of the Bible as well, because she's got blonde hair. But uh, you see how these even look like Illuminati pyramids right here? <clears throat> We're going to take a look at Catchphrase now. It's a very good show. But uh, you see, you, you see um, like, the blue for Jesus Christ and the red and yellow for Satan. See the red versus the blue again? <laughs> Just like uh, Iron Man has yellow and red armor. Now they say a picture paints a thousand words, but tonight one of our contestants could be painting the town red with a top prize of fifty thousand pounds. Painting the town red. Satan's side is red. And he mentioned a thousand words, just like Satan will be bound in the pit for a thousand years. So he even he even mentioned fifty thousand pounds representing the fifth age. See the pyramid right here represented in the Illuminati pyramid. Sponsored by Furniture. See he even says series four for the fourth age that we're in at the moment. Hey, remember, just say what you see. Pass on one, we can always go back. Just keep on guessing. Just sit. Pass on one. Just like passing over. Just like we have to pass over the beast. And just like the last Passover as well. 60 seconds. Now 50,000 pounds could be yours. Your 60 seconds will start. 60 seconds represents 666. When you select your first number from the bottom row. This represents the Red Bull cabin, or the Red Kashina. See the bull right there? See it again right there? Bullseye. Correct. Next. It said bullseye. Just like you have the Eye of Horror. 
one. She selected seven, and that represents the seven seven bombings. I'm sorry to say. This chess playing right here represents Silas playing chess with people in Hollyoaks. Just like Lindsay Nolan and, and people like that. But it also represents Magneto and Professor Xavier playing chess in the X-Men films. Chess is all about white versus black. The light versus the dark. See the bow and arrow right there? See it again right there? The amounts go up in fives. Sorry, I didn't word that correctly. All of the amounts start with a five for the fifth age, with the exception of £10,000. But obviously we know that double five is ten. So that's how, it, how that... How that's how that's linked to it. Again, you see the blue for Jesus Christ and the red and yellow for Satan. Red arrows, correct, next. <laughs> Here's your Obama type character. This is to do with Iron Man having no heart. This has even got to do with the symbol that is on the plutonium boxes in Back to the Future. This is to do with the, the ogres have layers, onions have layers thing in Shrek. Rings, on your rings. Next. And of course you see the green bit on the onion for Islam. And then also you saw that this desk was red for Satan. Even, even see the black for the darkness. See the white for heaven. The feet is obviously to do with the feet of a bear, but also to do with um, like everybody who doesn't come to heaven with us has to has to worship at our feet. See the beast out of the sea coming. Yeah, the beast out of the sea is coming. All of these people are coming. They're rising up with the feet of a bear. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus, believe in your heart, God has risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. The time of World War Three, nukes, earthquakes, tidal waves, is almost upon us.